All right, let's address granny flats and self-contained units and the reasons why sometimes it's appropriate for them to be rented out separately and why other times they are best to be rented out as a whole. This is a real popular topic at the moment. It's come up quite a few times this week, so I thought I'd create a video to explain my personal thoughts around it. So when we have a main house and we have a separate granny flat that is detached out the back of the house, that is no problems. In WA, we can put them onto separate leases. And what we do is we have the front house and we exclude a certain area of the property from the back house so that the front house has permission to use this area of the land and the house. Same with the granny flat, we do a separate lease agreement for them, excluding the front house and a portion of the area. That's fine. What's not appropriate is there to be cross use of areas. So there was one that I did the other day where to access the granny flat out the back, the person that's residing in the granny flat would have to go through the main house's garage, through their patio and backyard into theirs. Now, the reason why that's not appropriate is because if you've got a young family living in that main house, they do not want and nor is it appropriate to have a stranger, someone they don't know, using their patio and their backyard. Think about it. Imagine you're a family in the main house, you've got friends over, you're having a party, you're sitting out under the patio having lunch and then the person who's renting the back granny flat has to come through your party to get to, to their unit. It's just not appropriate. So that is a reason why I would say to those clients that are looking at those homes, you are better off renting out the whole property at a premium. It won't be as much income as two separate dwellings, but it will still be a little bit more and renting it out and letting people take advantage of the granny flat. So they might want to use the granny flat for um, host, um, hosting family that come from overseas, um, elderly parents, older children. Um, maybe they are two families that want to join together and, um, and live in the property. Something like that, totally fine because they know each other, they're friends, they're all, all family, they're all on the lease. So that is what I would recommend in the event that the back granny flat can't be separately um, fenced off with their own access. So that's the first point. The second thing to talk about is if it is possible for the back of granny flat to be fenced off and for the resident in the granny flat to access the unit completely separately um, without having to walk past windows and through patios, etc., then that is totally fine. But what you do need to consider is the way that the bills are going to be submitted or divided up. So you have electricity, gas and water, and it is possible to put submeters on most of those things, uh, but they do come with an expense. Second option, you might just want to, as a landlord, cover the utilities so that it doesn't have to be separated, but you need to be mindful of the cost. It's not as simple as just saying, I'm going to charge the back granny flat 30% of bills in the front house 70%. It could be, you could do something like that, but I feel like you could always become, get into problems, especially if you've got family in the front where they've got four children, two adults, and then you've got a single FIFO worker that works two weeks on, two weeks off at the back who really doesn't use anything. There's, it, it, it's just leaving you open for risk and conflict, which is something that you want to avoid in these situations. So there are a couple of um, other ways, um, like I said, which is including the bills in your um, in the rent so that you just sort them out or submetering, which has a complication to it, but it can be done. So that is how to address that. Now, I've just been looking at another property where it has a self-contained unit with um, under the same roof as the main house. And again, the way that I see it is, is it appropriate for someone, a stranger that you don't know living in that unit under the same dwelling as a family potentially with young children? 
in this home, the front entry door was the same for both parties to use. And then in the foyer, it separated out between the main house and the self-contained. I don't personally feel 100% comfortable in those situations because again, there is an opportunity for conflict there. Um, so I would rather the tenant take advantage of the self-contained granny flat for, like I said, elderly parents, older children, or maybe a family member um, that can benefit from it. That would be better unless it's got a separate entrance, I think. When we, in summary, self-contained units or self um, or granny flats are only suitable to be rented out separately when they have their own access point and there is no cross opportunity for there to be conflict or having to cross each other's paths. So keep that in mind when you are looking at buying in Perth and when you are considering properties that may have this setup.